Eric Trump, executive vice president of the Trump Organization, and of course, one of the sons of the 45th president of the United States. Eric, welcome back to Newsmax. How are you? Greg, it's good to be back on. I, listen, I'm pissed off. I think the entire country is is upset right now. Um, you know, what the FBI did, what this administration did, Greg, is just absolutely unthinkable. And it's uh, it's hard to believe we actually live in the United States of America when you see these antics, when you see these tactics, when you see kind of, you know, third world behavior. It's just, uh, it's truly shocking. It really is. Hey, where were you when you got the news? Um, what was your initial reaction? How did your father get the word that this was all getting going down? Well, I gave my father the word it was going down. I, I got a call from our team at Mar-a-Lago, and they said, you know, FBI agents just uh, decided to come on property, uh, you know, raid the property. Obviously, my father's in, he was in New York, um, you know, and he's been up in New Jersey for the entire summer. And I go, you got to be kidding me, for what? Oh, sir, we don't, we don't know, but they won't allow lawyers to come anywhere, you know, near the, the location. They're going through, you know, um, you know, various offices and other things. And I'm saying they're just saying, you know, you, you've got to be kidding me again. This doesn't happen. I know, Greg, I know this apparatus very well, as you do. This does not happen without presidential consent. You know the White House knew. Mark my word, they're out there today saying that no one in the White House knew. This was 100%, mark my word, directed by the White House. This is a political hit on my father. Uh, they know Biden's floundering the polls. He's doing absolutely horrible. And so what do they do? They put on a stunt like this. And you know, I, I want everybody to remember, and God forbid, I hate having to say this, but if there's ever another terrorist attack in this country, if there's ever another school shooting in this country, the next time you see a serial killer in this country, I want everybody to remember that the FBI spent all their resources going into Mar-a-Lago to look for, you know, effectively records for a public library, you know, rather than being focused on China, who's ripping off America every single day, rather than being focused on the threats that plague this country, terrorism that wants to come in here, Al-Qaeda, you know, uh, the Taliban, so many other people who want to destroy our way of life, extremists who want to destroy our way of life. The FBI, because of Joe Biden and because of this incompetent administration, has weaponized the system to go after their political rivals. And that's their priority versus keeping this country safe. I want everybody to remember that because you better believe we're going to see one of these instances again, and it's going to be because their eye was off the ball. That is a devastating way to put it. I hadn't thought about it that way, and you're absolutely right. Something bad will happen. Look at how they're spending their time. Look, um, hey, by the way, do you think this is about records you know, related to a presidential library, archives issues? Is this, are they, are they desperately trying to find something uh, January 6th related? Do you have a theory as to what this is all about? Yeah. Greg, it's coordinated attack. My father never got so much as a speeding ticket when, you know, ever in his life. And then all of a sudden he comes down that escalator in Trump Tower and they try and impeach him. The Washington Post writes that article I talk about all the time. This is when impeachment begins. He, I mean, he had literally, it was, it was election day. This is when impeachment begins, right? They didn't even give the guy a shot. They impeach him the first time. They impeach him the second time. They go after Kavanaugh. They try and take him down. They try and take our family down. They put arrows in me and Don and Ivanka and Melania yeah. and Barron, a young kid. They put arrows in us every single day. And when that didn't work, when he won impeachment one and he won impeachment two and he was a great president, guess what they did? They started weaponizing state prosecutors. They called up the New York AG and the New York DA. And, you know, I can go, again, through hundreds of this. He subpoenaed us every single day because the man was incredibly effective and he challenged the establishment in Washington, D.C. Subpoena after subpoena after subpoena. Greg, this is a coordinated attack against a man who did a phenomenal job, you know, who upended their way of life, who beat Hillary Clinton, who was the promised one, the chosen one by all the establishments. And honestly, it drove them absolutely crazy and they can't handle it. And now they watch a candidate who literally can't get through a sentence, who can't walk down <laughs> A flight of stairs. They see how poorly he's doing. He's doing horrible in terms of foreign policy. His family's a total disaster. You see what's going on with his son. Uh, the economy in this country stinks. Inflation's through the roof. Gas prices are through the roof. Everything sucks right now in, in America. We've lost our standing around the world. And you know what? They know he's poised to get it again if he wanted to stand on that stage again. So you know what they do? They raid his home when he hasn't been there for three months. They go into his house. They want to embarrass him. They send 30 agents. Greg, this is third world antics. 
Could you imagine if, if Donald Trump, when he was in the White House, ordered Barack Obama's compound in Martha's Vineyard to be raided? I, he would have been laughed out of Washington, D.C. This isn't what you do. This isn't the United States of America. This is crazy. This yeah. is what they do in Russia. This is what they do in Venezuela. Eric, it is insane, but We're I no sense... better than they are. Do you sense... I sense that this is backfiring on them big time. You know, I was walking home last night. I had a combination of feelings. Angry, a little bit, quite frankly, scared about where things were going. And then... I felt like I needed to do something. And quite frankly, the fundraising emails, you know, they're, they're all over the place every single day. I see them. I'm not supposed to give. I'm not saying I gave. But last night, I felt a little bit different about, <laughs> about these emails. And I think a lot of other people feel the same way. Do you sense, do you know how many people are on your side? And even more people see this. They see the FBI behaving this way, and they want to sign up with you guys. Greg, I can't tell you how many text messages I got, how many emails I got from people being incensed. And by the way, some of those people were pretty moderate people. Some of the people were even on the other side of the aisle saying, give me a break. How many more times can they cry wolf? How many more times can they attack your family? This is insane. This is the same agency that effectively framed your father and tried to ruin three years of his administration going after the Russia hoax, making up dossiers, literally lying to FISA courts, everything else that happened through that, they lost all their credibility. They don't get to do this again. Now all of a sudden they walk in and yes, you know, I mean, they've lost their standing. And by the way, it's not the men and women of the FBI. I know many of them. A couple of them are actually really good friends of mine. They're phenomenal people. This is literally the bosses, right? They're not gun carriers. They're not great investigators. These guys are politicians who are lawyers who have otherwise rigged this system, and they do it for the radical left. And, and Greg, it's horribly sad. We're going to lose our country if we allow this stuff to happen. But here's what I will tell you. You use the word backfire. It's absolutely backfire. This country is more pissed off than I've ever seen because they don't like these antics. They know if it can happen to a billionaire who was former president who got out of office you know, two years ago, what they could do to the average American and their family, they could destroy them. And prosecutorial misconduct in this country is real. I deal with it every single day. Every radical prosecutor who goes out and sends fundraising emails, you know, saying, I'm going to attack Donald Trump. I'm going to attack his family. I'm going to find something. I'm going to search for a crime. I'm going to go after him. You watch. I'm going to get him. You elect me. I'm going to go get him. They've done this the entire time. It's called fishing. They yeah. fish for a crime. They, you know, they subpoena every single document in hopes of finding something. And you know what? We're a great family. We're honest. And they've never found anything, but they won't go after Hillary Clinton. They won't go after Hunter Biden. They have the laptops. I mean, they know all the funny business. They know the prostitutes. They know the illegal drugs. You know, they know him taking money from, you know, people all over the world while peddling his father's influence. He got into politics when his father became vice president. The difference with us, Greg, is we got out of politics when my father, we got out of business when my father became president. It's, uh, it's really interesting. Yet we're the ones that are being investigated all the time. And we're the people who are having our homes raided. It's a disgrace. A disgrace. It is so unfair, but, you know, amazing things can happen in the, in the oddest ways. I have a feeling something magnificent is going to come from this, and you and your family, um, you're going to be great. You're going to be great, and uh, you know how we feel. So, look, hang in there. I know it's tough, but um, thank you, Eric Trump, executive vice president from the Trump Organization and, of course, Thanks, the son sir. of Donald Trump. Thank you, sir, very much. Thanks, Reverend. You bet. Be right back.